Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to change out a speed feed head. Uh, this goes to an Echo SRM266, but it's going to work for any uh, trimmer that has a speed feed head. And what I'm going to show you is how to take off the entire head to change it out, and I'm going to show you how to disassemble the head and clean it out inside, and I'm going to show you how to put new string in the head. So in order to change out the head, the first thing you do, see there's a, there's a little uh, notch right here. You get a, a nice long screwdriver and you put it right in here like that. You could turn it and boom, it, it, it goes into a little indentation there. Okay, and now you take your, your head and you turn it, clock, you turn it clockwise. Okay, there it goes. Came right off. Okay, so, and you see there's some debris in there you can clean out while you're at it. This is an Echo Speed Feed head, and this is original equipment. I would suggest buying the original equipment to replace it. Okay, so this component right here, get all that stuff out of there. There's a whole bunch of other crud to get out of here. You'll probably be surprised how much grass clippings and debris can get stuck in here. Okay, so you put this piece right back on. And you can see how this works. You see, that's the notch that we put the screwdriver in, and it aligns with this right here. And that holds it in place so you can work on it okay so you put that right back on there and after you've cleaned all your debris off you take and put this on remember this is a reverse thread the left hand thread so we're gonna turn it counterclockwise Put that right in there. Okay, so if you need to change out the head of your trimmer, that's how you do it. Or if you just want to clean it out, uh, look at all this that came out of there, and there's a bunch on the ground too. So uh, that's how you change out the head. So now I'm going to show you how to disassemble the head so you can clean that out. Or sometimes you'll get a little piece of string stuck in there. And this works a lot better when these are new. Okay, it's got a tab right here you push down, and a tab right here you push down. And you have great big hands, it'll work, it'll work better. <laughs> okay, I got it loose on one side. <clears throat> okay. So uh, here's the cap right here. See, this is the spring for your bump feed. See, the spring's still in good shape. It looks good in there. Okay, so here's the spool right here. Notice there's an L. The L goes up, okay? The L goes up. Here's the direction you wind. Okay, so this comes right off. <laughs> it blow that out. And that's, that's pretty clean. That looks pretty good. Got a couple little spots I can clean out here. Okay, so the main thing I want to show you is the L goes up. Right there, L goes up. Because if you put it the other way, this is with the R up, it's not going to go down all the way. It's not going to seat right. So you put the L up, and it goes all the way down. That's the way you want it. Okay, now here's the head again. So here's your clips right here and here. So you line it up and you push it in like that. And you just push it and it clicked in there and it clicked in there, so we're good. So now, okay, this is a Black Diamond by, by Echo. This stuff is great. This particular trimmer takes 0 .095 line, but I've found that I can use the .105. And it works just fine. 
and it's, it lasts a little longer. All right, so right here, there's an arrow. You got to get the arrow aligned with the eyelet. And it'll be on both sides. A arrow aligned with the eyelet. Okay? And then you take your string. It'll take up to 20 feet of string. So you pull it. This has a really good dispenser system. Okay. I'll go ahead and cut it. All right, so with the arrow aligned with the eyelet, take your string and see if you can get it straight because we're going to need this to go straight through. That's a little tip, try to, try to get it straight. Okay, so we're going to go straight in here and see if you can get your string nice and straight, it'll come out the other side better. There, it went right through like that. Okay, so now you pull this through. So I have, I have about 20 feet here. I have a lot of line. Okay, so you get this even and then you just pull it. Okay. So I got it like that, and then the other end, you see, is, is even like that. So, so now we're going to wind it up. Okay, grab this disc right here, and grab this. See, we're just going to ratchet it on there. It's winding up right now. And like I say, I put a good 20 feet on here. Don't want to change it out too often. Okay, I think it's kind of full right now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Okay. Here's the cutter, the automatic cutter right here. And I'm going to cut that right like that. Turn this around and cut this right like this. You don't actually have to do this step because it'll cut itself as you're using it. But uh, there you go. You got new line in your speed feed. And I showed you how to clean out your head and how to change out the head. At this point, if you were to pop off the bump head, this is what the spool would look like. So, uh, Go cut some weeds, man. All right. Uh, thank you very much. I'll put links in my video description for the Echo SRM266 25.4cc string trimmer with speed feed. And I'll put a link for the DeWalt 20 volt max folding string trimmer with a system called Quick Load Spool. I'll put a link for a one pound of Echo Black Diamond trimmer line. And I'll put a link for a replacement head for the echo this is going to be an oem head uh, made by echo and that's what i recommend for an echo but if you have another brand of string trimmer that you'd like to put one of these speed feed heads on you'll need to get one that uh, gives you the adapters so i'll put a link for a brand of head that you can put on other kinds of string trimmers uh, because it comes with adapters Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.